Bugs. All right, I think we're live. Oh, I gotta fix this so it looks like something. Focus this back here. Come on, baby. There's always something, right? There's always something making my life difficult. That looks good. All right, so I just wanna do a quick, some quick doodles before bed. So, let me get rid of these. And we'll just do some dart frog sketches. I did some of these yesterday. Here's the one from the, here's the one from the uh, uh, reference. But it's always fun to kind of just draw them as characters and just kind of have fun with it. So that's what we're gonna do real quick. All right, so let's make, what's a good, what's something fun that a dart frog can be doing? I should just warm up and just do his face. We'll do one with, with one eye open and one eye closed. That's always a fun one for me. I love that. Try to keep this nice and loose. That's actually not bad. I want to make his mouth open or close. We'll make it open a little bit. I didn't really do many like that. But his painting, he has like black around his mouth in the in the reference. So I've been really trying to do that with the uh, with the sketching. Ocean, what up? How you feeling? This is gonna be a quick one tonight because I gotta get up dumb early tomorrow. Unfortunately work man they, they they get me with these early hours working on sets man that's the only thing about working on sets is they get you with these early hours okay so let's make one eye we'll make this eye open make this eye open right here and we'll make this eye close his neck too big you know we'll give him a well let's make him should we make him standing up uh, Give him a little round body. We don't wanna, I don't want to think about it too much. And the toes are kind of flat, so I'm just thinking of, thinking of them as circles. Kind of helps me to sort of keep them nice and flat oh he's so tall I don't think I meant to really make him that tall so let me just let me try to sh sh yeah that's better I kind of wanted to be like kind of short and stubby a little bit. I 
think it'd be kind of cute to have. Something like this. Make his pinky coming up. We'll make these fingers fold a little bit more. His arm is huge. Let's so make this smaller. Rebellion. Everyone's like, yo, rebellious pastry. The animation station. I love it. Sticky Art Raid. Sticky Raid. I don't know what's happening, but I love it. I have no idea what's happening, but I'm with it. Sticky Art Raid. I feel like his other hand, you know what? I feel like uh, this is what happens sometimes if I keep drawing and I, and I want to keep something the way it is. Uh, one way that I can do that is uh, let me copy it then I'll go back and I'll delete all of that all of what I just did because I think I want to make the other arm a different way and then I'm going to paste it I'll paste what I did and I think I only want the arm I think I'll just keep I'll keep this arm so I'll cut and paste that get rid of that Make this smaller. Mm -hmm. See this. I think I'm making his fingers a little too. Let's see, I'll make them like this. That's better. That's a little bit better. Surfix. See ya, animation station. <laughs> wow, what's happening? I don't know what's happening here, but I like it. Another thing that's cool is I, f oh my god, you can't even see this. This is so terrible. No one let me know how terrible that was. That's a little bit better if I draw big. That's a little bit better. Hopefully it doesn't, okay, good, we're good. Okay, so this, he's a little cute. Let's go with this, except you know what I want to do? I want to use liquify and just bring his. Okay, so this is, this is looking pretty good. I like this. So now let me make some, I'll do some line work real quick. We'll use Dig Disney Ink. Good morning, Surfix. I'll go with a nice black. Do I don't want to go with black? Uh, or do I want to go with... This minty color, I think, is the color that I used for his skin.
We'll go with black for now. Okay, so let me just... You know, I don't even think I need that with his nose. That's good. All right. Um, I want the arm to be... Actually, I think this is okay. I'm sort of simplifying this too, as you can see. So I want to make sure I get his little tummy in here. Rebellious. Get to work. Yeah, I'm going to bed soon. I got to go to work early in the morning. There's so much positivity in that, in that chat. I'm loving it. That's what it's all about. Give him his little head back here. Okay. Give him his little, his other arm. Give him something like that. They might be a little too far, a little too. They're not the... Mm, no, let me do that again. I'm, tempt, I'm tempted to be lazy, but... There's something not right about this hand. This, this, this... always something there's always like there's always something that like kind of messes me up slows my slows my progress so let me go back to the sketch and work whatever this is out real quick okay so this is going to be his palm is here so if his palm is here then this is the This would be the bottom part of his palm. That looks that looks good, All right? I think that looks okay. So let me go back up here, go back to Disney Inc. Start this 
here. Nice little rounded uh, frog pads. Give them a little thingy. That's looking good. And now for the mouth. Mouth is looking good. I did some other ones that are going up on my Instagram soon. I actually have a, I have a couple things that I can post on Instagram, but I always wait. I'm not going to do the teeth yet because, um, make sure you can still see it good. Yeah, you can still see it good. I'm not going to do the teeth yet because I do that on a different, um, I might want to bring the mouth up a little bit. Let's see how that looks. that looks good okay so let me just add a little bit more to the eyes you know how I like to do my eyes so this one is open so this the upper lid is going to be obviously on the outside and this one's going to be closed This looks terrible. So let me just erase that line. Back to Disney Ink. That looks pretty good. All right, so we're good. We're good there. So now for the fun part, add some paint to them. Nash Music, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, I've been I've been I've been posting a lot on uh, on Reddit lately. It's uh it's nice to, it's nice to post there. Um, honestly, the, the only reason I didn't post there is I got very frustrated because I used to use uh, Sync. Well, I still use Sync, but now I'm using the actual Reddit app, and I'm realizing that um, and I'm realizing that there's like flares and stuff. There's certain things that were the reason that were keeping me from uploading my artwork on on uh, on reddit because you need to have certain certain uh, um, what are they called certain subreddits you need to you need to post flare with your art and I can't post flare with sync I paid for like the the ad free experience in sync and I, I find that sync is just I prefer the way that that uh, you know the the system is i i just think it feels better and it's just clearer to me rather than the reddit app but since i downloaded the reddit app cuz i was like i really need to post my stuff on on reddit cuz i like reddit you know i feel like it's a little more um it's a little more cutting edge is that the right thing like i feel like i say that a lot i feel like I feel like Reddit is more If you can if you can do well on Reddit, it's saying something. And I have a lot of work that I'm going to post on Reddit cuz I have a lot of uh work that I just have never posted there. And I just joined the illustration subreddit today. Because like I decided to look for some other subreddits that my work, that people would, would might like my work. So, uh, Illustration was, was one of them. And also what was very scary about Reddit is that it's just kind of scary to, to post. Like I have this like fear 
because um a lot of my posts used to always get um removed like i was always like the bad guy like just because of like little stupid things that i just didn't really pay attention to um i almost got banned from art actually i did get banned from just art because i had like extraneous stuff in my in my art but that's the problem with my style of art is it's it's not always just the art like sometimes i want the picture of or i want the my hand in it or, or my the pencil in it or something like that like that's just how i do my art but it doesn't really fly there so i got banned but then i reached out and i was like i was like uh i didn't i didn't realize that i was you know that much of a bad guy that i'm going to get banned for from art forever and never be able to post something and the reddit art thread ever again i was like that's a little harsh and then i told the whoever the mod was like i was like i showed him that like i'm i was actually um not that much of a bad person and i was unbanned and i got unbanded i actually made a video of me Attempting to fix the problem. Why is that? Wait, what did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? Oh, this is what I missed. This whole big thing here. Okay, almost there. That looks pretty good. Right, make sure you can see this all right. I wish I could get it clear. The only problem is if I focus on this. Okay, I wish I could lock it here. And then I wish I could like drag this like box away. That would be ideal. I can't really see it, but it's still kind of annoying. I guess it's not too bad there, but I feel like that's much, much that's much clearer. Okay, so the reason why I don't do the mouth and stuff is because I do them this way. I just make a new layer underneath, and I have my little mouth colors here. First, I start out with this. Oops, I see some spots that I missed. Any other spots I missed? Not that it's a big deal, but it annoys me. That's the one thing that's annoying about color fill, is it's just not perfect. It leaves some stupid artifacts sometimes. Okay, so back to the mouth. And we'll go ahead and do a tongue. We'll give him a t we'll give him a that looks pretty good. Give him some teefies. I'm aware that frogs don't have teeth, but he looks cute with teeth, I think. Okay, and now for his eyes, we were using like a, was using like a nice gold color, even though their eyes are really black, or at least this guy's eyes are black. And then above that, we can do... Where do I want them looking? Mm. Let's see what it looks like if I have if I just do a, a actual circle. His other eyes were pretty big. I think I like the big eye. Okay, so looking pretty good, looking pretty good. 
so let me alpha lock. Actually, did I did I did I even? I don't even remember if I no, I left those black. I couldn't remember if I colored them in or if I left those black. And I also feel like he needs more of an eyelid. So let me just see if that. I feel like he needs... Maybe he doesn't need an eyelid. Okay, okay. That's fine. So now for the colors. This is the fun part for this guy. So... Um... We'll do it right above this. And I want to go dark, but not ex not super, super black. But dark enough. So if I remember correctly, his mouth, his mouth is dark. What are these missed? These are, see, this is all because I missed spots. Let me leave that so I can actually see them. I can't believe I missed so many spots here. So it happens when you color, when you color drop, you miss Lots of spots. Okay. So I'll select that now, I'll go back to that color. And let me just fill in these spots. Okay, he has a little bit of a black here behind his head. Why is Google talking to me? Okay, now he has some markings here. Give him a little bit here. Give him some color here. I don't know if he had any there, but we'll we'll give him some anyway. Some color on his arms. His hands too. I actually think that his palms might have been... We'll make his palms black. I think in the other here we go kind of like that or just the under just the bottom parts Make black. And we'll do some colors on his legs. Some color on his toes. Actually, let me make it on the bottom. He does have some color on his toes, so I'll put some colors there. Color the bottom part of his toes. 
I'll give him a little belly button. Oh, that's right. He had one underneath his neck. So that's what. That's right. I forgot about that. One. Actually, didn't have this here. Okay, so we don't really need the sketch anymore. So I'm gonna bring the opacity up on the sketch. I'm gonna bring that over. Oh, what happened? Oh, I know what I did. It's still selected. So I'll bring the sketch over. And I'll just double it so it's a little darker. Sasa18 girl, thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate that. Okay, so now he's got his little one eye closed, one eye open, and oh, so let me give him some shadows. So I'm gonna select that. I'll go. I'll do with the layer above, and we'll do. We'll go with. Uh, we'll go with this brown color. I'll make the layer like 25%. That's pretty good. And I'll just give him some rudimentary shading. So I'll shade kind of under his eyes a little bit. Might be able to make this a little bit softer even. He might not even need shading under his eyes. Make it a little softer. Okay, let me shade under here because... Okay, so we'll do a little bit of shading under his chin where his, his body is. A little bit of shading around the side of his body. This leg we'll make behind, so we'll color that in. Along with these kind of back feet. Color that in a little bit more. It's back thumb. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Looks pretty good, so now let's just put some highlights on them. So I'll just make this layer above. First, I will do 30% for this eye. Maybe I should do like a little bit of a kind of close to this green as though it's reflecting the green. Bring some of that green into the eye. So now I'll go pure white again and just a regular brush. And we'll give him a nice little highlight here. And then I guess I can use this to do the rest of the highlights. So what I've been doing is give him, giving him some, some highlights here on the cheek. He might have some by his nose. Maybe some on his arm. I'll do a little on his Give his fingers a little moisture. A little down his body. little f toes it's 
So I think he's cute. I think he's pretty cute. I'm happy with him. I'll have to work on the uh, the coloring. So I think I like the ones I did before a little bit better. How big did I make the eyes? Oh, see, that's the only difference is the eyes a little bit. Let's see if I can remedy that really quick. Let's just see how it would look if... And you know what? We'll do it a different way. We'll do it a, we'll do it the easy way. So let me erase this. I'll just stay on, I'll just make a new layer above. Let's just experiment. So we'll experiment. Uh, sometimes I have to do this when I have to make changes, like client changes. Um, sometimes, if I if I can't, if I don't have access to the layers or something, sometimes you just have to go right over the top and just kind of make your changes however you can make them. Okay. Actually, it might be easier if I bring this up. Maybe this eye can be smaller. And go back to this layer and just color all this in. So now, hmm, I don't know, which one do we think? Brian. So here's one with his eye wide open, super wide, 30%. Super wide open. Looks a bit creepy. So let's see if I if we close his eye little by little. Maybe we'll get to something we like. And maybe this needs to be Maybe this needs to be uh, a little bit more, a little rounder. That could help. Like so, and maybe I can just Take this color and I'll just draw in a little shadow here. Okay, and last but not least, I'm gonna take black and I'll take 30% again, because that's what I always use. I'll just make a nice shadow. There we go. I think that looks better. And in a perfect world, I would also make this eye bigger. 
or is it fine? Maybe that's a little better. Go back to Disney Inc. Mr. Mamoro, Nizake and Co. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. It's uh. It's always tough. Maybe I'll make it a little thicker, actually. Really, really draw out that that squint. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go real crazy. We're just gonna give him a little bit of. We're gonna give him a little heart, just because. Why not? And there we have it. There's our little guy. I think he's cute. It's a cute character to draw. Um, and again, here's the other ones that I did. Let me go ahead and just merge all this. Make him one. Here are the other ones I did. Oh, that's a big one. This will be going on this will be going on Instagram at some point in time. I don't know when. Shout out to Herping Costa Rica. I can't wait to go back to Costa Rica. But um But yeah, these are the other ones. These are the little guys that I did and they'll they'll be on Instagram uh soon. But anyway, let me go back to the one that I just did. But anyway, it's already 12:19 and I need to get to sleep because I need to wake up at like 5.30 a.m. So I only have like not that much time to get to sleep. But uh, as always, I appreciate you guys coming through. It's been a lot of fun. It's always fun hanging out with you guys. Bryant. Skin shiny like the black one you did. Uh, I can to make his skin shinier, I would just do more. I would just do more of this. And I would have to and I would make him darker. Like I would make certain areas darker. But it's really just like things like this like it's just marks you know sometimes it's uh sometimes it's um where's my 30 percent other um oops sometimes it's like a combination of things like that like just different values but that's pretty much all it is same thing with the eye like just adding this white just sort of kind of gives it that that nice gloss and you add like little just like little bits and pieces, just kind of make it. Little pieces just kind of make it look like kind of glossy. So that's pretty much all it is. Look at that face. William Yeager. Oh yeah, you can, yeah, they're all, it'll be on, uh, yeah. <laughs> Finally caught the finally caught a live one. Um, I'm gonna try to do them at like around 11, 11:30 each night because I seem to be home around that time. So I'm gonna try to do them around then. Um, but I appreciate you guys, Brian, Bryant Powell, William, Jaeger. Appreciate you guys, Mr. Mamoiro, Mamoiro. It's probably Mamoiro, Mamoiro. Uh, Nash Music, uh, Sasa 18 Girl. Rebellious Pastry, I love that name. Sticky Art. Sticky Art, Rebellious Pastry, The Animation Station, Ocean, Ocean Man. I appreciate all you guys uh, coming through. And oh, Leather Pants. Leather Pants is, Leather Pants are difficult. But the easiest thing is just, um, just look at, just look at a photo and just match the photo. Like just match the photo exactly how it is. Same thing with like lips too. They're difficult to get if you're just trying to do it um it's so much harder to, to do it without looking at reference just find reference just look at reference and copy the reference and figure it out from there but you know that's that's you know that's how i do everything so once again have a great night or a great morning or a great day 
And uh, I will see you guys in the next live. Hopefully tomorrow night around this time, around like 11. Um, or maybe even earlier, because I might have a short day at work. We'll see. So anyway, have a good one, guys.